Hey guys, I'm Graham Haynes and you're watching UJ Student News. We'd love to hear from you, so uh, like our Facebook page and leave your comments and messages and, you know, we'll get back to you. On to today's show. Where there's smoke, there's fire. And a look at UJ's Olympians. While some of you were chilling at home during the holidays, a few UJ staff members were teaching practical skills to high school students to keep the air in their communities cleaner and even save their own lives. Check it out. The event today uh, was a community outreach. Uh, Wilberforce Colleges has established educational facilities as their uh, community outreach program and they have arranged a week-long program of science and engineering innovation for high school pupils in the township of Everton. We arranged a competition for the learners. They're divided into six teams of six people, each given a embowler stove, and they were given paper, wood and coal, and a five litre or six litre pot, and they were set on your marks, get set, go, and see who could boil water the fastest. Now let the fire roll. What was very fascinating is the level of sophistication shown by these high school learners in adapting to and understanding the scientific method, uh, spontaneously adjusting the way that they laid the fire to optimize air, for instance. Today was a plus and an A plus for them. Um, they really had their hands on, especially from the pre preparation of the fuel and, and, and how to run the tests and the experiments. Each group had to stand up and give a five-minute presentation of the results. So you could see that they had a grasp of the concepts, you know, behind the combustion sciences and all. So in the end, we gave everyone a prize uh, for the most smoke or the fastest boil or the blackest pot. Now the day was was a brilliant day. Um, uh, it was a win-win for both us, the centre, and and the kids. The kids learnt a lot. The university plays a big role in improving the living standards of many communities, including the sporting community, by being one of the biggest producers of Olympic athletes in the country. Check it out. I'm Simi Nadeatoe. I work for the UJ Sports Marketing and Commercialization Offices. I market all the UJ athletes in sports and events, and I run the UJ Sport website. UJ has got about 13 athletes that represent South Africa this year at the 2012 London Olympics. From the 13, half of them is alumni athletes. Um, they've all made a career out of being athletes. We have several Paralympians. We have the captain of the soccer Banyana Banyana team, Amanda Tlamini. Uh, there's another lady in, in the Banyana Banyana team that also studies at UJ. We have three Olympic hockey players in the women's Olympic team. Mersha Marasha, who is the captain of the Springbok team, as well as Piti Kutsia and Bernadette Costin. The UJ athletes that are going to the Olympics have a great support system where they're supported by bioconeticists, physios and sports scientists which all interlink. So if the athlete is going through rehab with a bioconeticist, he sees the bioconeticist for four to six weeks. As soon as he's done and he's rehabilitated, then he moves back to a sports scientist which does his body conditioning for him. It's mostly about this having all the support because I mean, as a student, you don't really have the money to pay for those additional things, and UJ gives them that. UJ provides the facilities to these athletes to train and become the best athletes they can be while getting a degree. So when their careers do end, they have a future in academics. Go on guys, make us proud. Well that is all from me and the news team. Join us again for more UJ Student News. I'm Graham Haynes, goodbye.